Good morning, Adapt Inspire. John Sane here from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm uh, making this video from a very warm and sunny day here as summer becomes more and more prevalent in this side of the world. I spent the weekend in Namibia speaking for an organization called Midas and they asked me to speak about uh, disruption and the survival of disruption. And I found it uh, quite uh, funny because what I'd spoken to them about uh, disruption and how to understand the future better, I find pretty much the same sort of discussion being had for major organizations as well as individuals. You see, major organizations also have to develop a inspirational, self-motivated ability to prepare for the future, to prepare for a different type of organization they need to be in order to tackle the future. You see, inside organizations, I speak about transformation, strategy, and innovation. And I want to focus on innovation here. And when I talk about innovation, I don't talk about product or service innovation. I talk about institutional innovation. And by that, I mean, Innovation is not a process, it's a political decision-making process. It's not a, a sort of a process of what you do in the business, but a political decision you need to make about who's going to be in the boardroom when you're trying to decide on innovation. You see, pessimism is effortless. It's easy to say that can never be done. It's easy to say, we've tried that, it's failed. That's so effortless and I actually think quite a um, uh, lack of courage when you are being pessimistic. As a political move, organizations need to make sure that the right players are sitting around the boardroom when they're trying to create innovative, new, bold, and courageous decisions about their future that look very, very different from the past. When you don't have the right people inside the boardroom, you get stuck. You can't actually make any of these decisions. So when we bring this down to an individual level and we think about innovation in our lives and really what that means is developing a new self, developing a new way of coming to the earth, uh, developing a new way of our perspectives of how we decide what sort of lives we're going to have, what sort of bodies are we going to have, how healthy are we going to be. And what happens is we have to become political about which voice we listen to inside our heads. When we decide we want to lose weight, when we decide we want to be healthier, when we decide we want to get rid of certain friends that aren't adding any value to our lives, which are all very difficult things to do, you see, it's easier to be pessimistic. It's easier to be skeptical because you just become lazy in the decision-making process and go, ah, that's just the way it's always been done. I'm never going to be able to change it. And when we look at organizations who have that attitude, they fail, become bankrupt and become irrelevant. As individuals, when we become pessimistic, when we become skeptical about our potential and what we can actually do for ourselves in life, we can become irrelevant, unprofitable, and hopefully not bankrupt, but pretty much in the same scenario as we become so useless in this future that we move forward, we just give in and we just give up. And so I really wanna make this message clear today, is that whether you own a business or you're listening to this as an individual, whether you wanna lose weight or start a new career or start something new like a business, if you're allowing the political voices inside your head, the pessimists and the skeptics, to make those decisions up front, you're never going to get it done. Become more active in trying to create new scenarios that are obviously going to be uncomfortable because it's metabolically expensive for our brains to change the way it thinks. We've spent so much time creating these brain waves. Now you're asking it to shift. It's really difficult. But if you want to create a life that is magnificent and full of energy and a business that's going to be relevant and profitable continuously, surely that's what we need to be doing. So my decision or my, my, um, my challenge to you this week is quieten the voices of the politicians that are pessimistic, that are skeptics that sit inside of your heads. Try and give the optimists the opportunity to create a new roadmap and a new strategy for your life or for your business. And then allow the pessimist to come in at the end to make sure the contracts are signed, the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. But don't let them come first in to create this new bold and courageous life that we want to create. Don't forget, pessimism is effortless. Put some effort in, create this new life that's highly excited, highly generous, highly abundant. That's the little life we need to be living whether you own a business or in your individual space. 
Ciao from Joburg. I look forward to making the next video. It must probably be from Zambia, where I'll be speaking for another organization in the next two weeks. And I look forward to that then. Ciao.